Hi everyone, my name is Sean Tusi. I'm CEO and co-founder of Glow3DApp.com. We are a startup focused on the idea of 360 product photography for online merchants. In this video, I will show you how to go from a typical eBay product listing page like this one, where we have a couple of uh, 2D images as well as a description to um, embedding a 360 spin image of your product into your description. So without further ado, let's get started. We are getting one video out each week uh, that will be talking about 360 product photography, uh, best ways and tricks on how to do it easier and faster. Uh, we also talk about product photography in general. So if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe, this way you'll be notified as soon as we have a new video out. Um, also, feel free to put any questions you have in the comments and I will be more than happy to respond to them. So now going to the task in hand, uh, this is our eBay product page, my eBay active products. And uh, the plan is to add a 360 spin image to this upgraded VR headset. Uh, so we go here to revise. I will scroll down. So this is our typical 2D images. I scroll down all the way to description section. And here I'll go to the HTML section. So I'll lower this, I'll come up. And here I will be embedding a code for that 360 spin image. So I go to glow3d.net, which is our platform where um, I have already taken 360 photo of this VR headset. If you'd like to learn how to create 360 photos like this from different products, uh, we will have a video pop up somewhere in this screen, most likely to the top right, where you can learn different ways of capturing 360 photo from different size products, from very small like jewelry all the way to very large size product like a car or a van. So once you created this platform, I'll come to share. And here there is an option called embed to eBay. So I'll just click that. So what it does, it, it saves the embed code here. And I will go back here where I had my HTML. And I just simply paste it. That's it, that easy, that fast. Now, if you go to a standard view, now you will see that we have a 2D image. In our back end, we're generating right now in the GIF. So after about a minute or so, this automatically gets replaced with the spinning image like the one we looked at at the beginning. And um, once we have this, all we have to do is save the file. So we update the listing. I'll come back here and I will click um, on this listing to just see how it looks like. See, by the time we saved it, we had the 360 spin already here. So again, if you have any question about uh, any of these sections, if you have problem using this technique, feel free to um, add questions in as a comment and I will be more than happy to answer them very quickly. Also feel free to subscribe to our account um, and to our YouTube channel as we'll be getting new videos every week so you can always be up to date. Thanks again for watching.